Hey everybody, it's that time of year, holiday parties abound, we're coming into the holidays and the end of December, and it's usually a time for me when a lot of people start to think towards 2021, towards the next year and what they wanna create. What's interesting as I engage with people is I've heard the phrase over and over that people are waiting for something. So I wanted in this blog episode to touch on what are you actually waiting for? And how is it in the way of creating what you really want? So let's get started. First thing that people are waiting for, and you are likely one of them, is waiting for the end of the holidays or waiting for the end of the year. It's basically people are putting time in the way of what they want and making those plans. For example, I've had people say, I wanna wait until after the holidays are over and then I'll start thinking about what I'm going to create in 2021. Newsflash, by the time you do it, 2021 is already gonna be well underway. Usually behind the time excuse is people are too busy. They're too busy to think about the larger picture. They're too busy to actually sit down and put their minds to what they wanna create. You've heard the term carpe diem before. I looked it up. The Latin term is carpe cross, which is seize tomorrow. You never hear anybody saying that. So take a note from me. There is no perfect time for you to start planning except now. Why not take advantage of the time that you have right now to set plans for later? The more you wait, the more you're gonna put it off and it's time wasted and time lost. The second thing that people put in the way of creating what they want, you got it, it's money. Now what I usually hear from people is on my end, I want to work with you and I want to put it off until I've got more money in the bank. It's usually money is the thing where people want to wait until they have the money set aside or they want to wait until circumstances change so that they actually earn more money or they're expecting money to show up. Here's the thing. It doesn't really matter to me if people work with me now or later, but the breakthrough that's available for most people is to stop waiting for the money to show up before you take action and actually declare the action now and generate the money from that place. It's kind of a brain twister, but I guarantee you that if you declare a result now and you choose it, you can generate the money from that place far more powerfully, far more quickly. You will actually make things happen. And that breakthrough is going to follow you throughout your entire life. If you constantly put the existence of money before your choice, it's never gonna happen. There's always going to be something getting in the way, sucking the money out of your bank account. It's actually creating from a place of scarcity rather than a place of possibility. Think about it. Who would you have to be if right now you declared that you were going to take the vacation that you wanted to do rather than wait for the money to be saved up in order to take the vacation? Nine times out of 10, that money is never going to be there. But if you actually declare the vacation and choose it, then there's some urgency to your choice and you're put into a position of getting creative and generating the possibility for that cash to flow in. It sounds kind of wacky, but I guarantee you it works. The third thing that people put in the way and always seem to be waiting for are for the right circumstances to come along. They're waiting for the stars to align. They're waiting for everything to get lined up, all of their ducks in a row. I hear this constantly from people. I will start my firm, but first I have to finish this project. I will create this one thing, but I need to wait for exactly the right opportunities to show up. The problem with this is that you're externalizing all of the power, and this happens with all of these excuses. Choose the thing that you want to do. Don't wait for the circumstances to show up and make it the perfect time to choose. There is no perfect time to choose, and there are no perfect circumstances. Declare what you want and stop waiting. Create it. The fourth thing that people are constantly waiting for, and it never fails to surprise me, is others. We are always waiting for others and putting them in front of whatever it is that we want to choose. The problem with this is again, 
we're not actually choosing, we're waiting for all the external circumstances and everybody else's choices to get lined up so that we can actually choose the life that we want. It's a ridiculous thing to do. Choose what you want and enroll other people in what you're trying to create. If you constantly wait for everybody else's life to be perfect and to be aligned with what you want to create, it's never gonna happen. The final thing that always surprises me, but maybe it doesn't, is that people are constantly waiting for permission. What are you waiting for? I get in these conversations with people who know what they want, they know what they need to do, but they're not choosing it. And it occurs like they're waiting for permission, either from someone else or from themselves. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Give yourself permission to take that step. Give yourself permission to live the life that you really want. Really ask yourself, what am I waiting for? Give yourself the time and the space and allow yourself to actually step into the life that you want. So there you have it. Five ways that people constantly are waiting rather than jumping in and creating what they want. If any of this resonates with you, please sign up for my community at www.blueprintforliving.coach slash join. And you can also listen to my podcast, visit my YouTube channel, uh, hook up with me on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, any of those social media platforms. I would love to chat with you about what it is that you've been waiting to do, and I'm here to support you. Until we see each other again, make it a wonderful day.